governor of Ebony State, Dave Omai, has claimed that the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOV, led by Nnabekano, has been hijacked by courtists, adopters, and armed robbers in society. Omai called on the pro Biafra group to critically observe the current situation in Southeast region, describing it as wars. The governor noted this on Tuesday at the Ecumenica Center in Abakeleke, the Ebony State capital, while inaugurating members of the Southeast Traditional Rulers Council. He said, We know that the indigenous people of Biafra has been hijacked by courtists, kidnappers, and armed robbers in our society. And that is why we must ask questions. Those who said that they are fighting for us, fighting for our marginalization should take a critical look about our situation today. Today, it is very difficult to get trucks coming from south or north to the southeast. This itself imposed injury because we did not do comprehensive harmonization to see what are the areas of comp comparative advantage and what are the areas we might see we have been marginalized. So, if late we came together and told our youth that we may know your area of marginalization and that is what we have done. You don't shave our heads in our absence. We must stand to say enough is enough. There is nothing we cannot get in Nigeria through dialogue and understanding. Our culture is never what is going on now, so I appeal to you, let's do more and support our governors, Omai Haded. So guys, what's your take on this? Meanwhile, Nigerians have reacted. All this ranting should be over. Kano has finished his assignment. Go to New York and see indigenous nationalities with mega phones shouting on top of their voices to end your Nigeria, calling for a referendum. The protests they did not want to see or hear about is taking place all over the world. The Ebubagu are the criminals. Devil Omai and Ebubagu is bandits in Igbo land. These are Nigerians talking and they are still reacting. Imagine Omai dictating for IPOB. I believe that IPOB's foundation that did not shake in, in Mefor time is unshakable now. Mental evaluation is required for Southeast leaders always playing the blame game. Is Omai not the chief security officer of his region? IPOB is beyond black me. What of Ebubago? They floated, probably ended up like the state of the roads in the southeast region. Okay, someone just dropped that. He's referring to Ebubago bandits. That is it. Southeast governors are disgraced. I don't know the type of weed these guys are smoking. Okay, IPOB is owned by the criminals, politicians in the southeast. Someone just dropped that. Now I believe that DOS have been brought by politicians. Ebubar go are the criminals. God punish you. Nam the Kano himself is a monster who used Biafra terrorist group to siphon uh, funds from Igbo land and abroad. As if they care about IPOP, they are trying to use propaganda against us. I don't blame them. I blame those dividing us. All right, someone said, I pop sit at home order a solidarity of Biafra addressing, of Buhari addressing the world at New York. Someone just dropped that. I pop is a movement in a circle. You have no direction to exist. To exist. Sorry about that. Omai is not only a foster, he is certificated anima. So now criminals have adjacked terrorist group. You guys are so incompetent. Including your Ebubago Arturo security outfit. They are worst in the hijack killing pregnant women and calling it stray bullets. 
Okay, someone said this man is the devil itself. And who is Nnamdi the Kano himself, a terrorist commander? A difference between Kano and Bilandin is that Bilandin graduated from high school, while Kano is a dropout failure. Okay, someone just dropped that. Someone said here, keep selling your youth out to your enemy because of your selfish interest. Though he said the truth, IPOP needs to caution most of these thoughts misbehaving in the name of IPOP. Devils incarnate. All right. So, guys, these are Nigerians reacting to this. Yeah, in my own opinion, the Southeast leaders, they should understand that what is going on now is not a matter of uh, Namde Kano again. It has passed Namde Kano. Yeah, what is going on now has passed in Namde Kano. You know, they always say that this agitation, Biafra agitation, is ideology. You cannot stop it. Even when you try to stop it, <laughs> you will not. It's not possible for you to stop it. So that is the reason why the Southeast leaders have to be very, very careful in dealing with, you know, this kind of sensitive issue you get. If Namde Kano himself could ask you know, IPOP members in the Southeast to stop the sit at home order until now they have refused. They should understand that this issue is no longer Nambe Kanu issue. People are really angry with the way things are going. So it's not Nambe Kanu again, it has passed that level. Everybody wants to out for Nigeria. And the questions they should be asking themselves is talking about. Uh, the youth should identify where and how they are being marginalized and all that. And he's still talking about dialoguing, you know, that there is nothing that cannot be dialogued. Before Nnamdi Kano was arrested, or can I say, was adopted by Nigerian government, himself still used a mad talk -hand. Say, make youths identify their issues. Say, they need to dialogue with the president of the country about the agitation. Did he do that? Did they do that? Look at what is going on. Southeast leaders, they are just something else. After having meetings and whatever with Southern governors, the next thing you see, they are hurting out one after, one after the other. <laughs> I believe you guys are the real problem people are facing in that Southeast. So guys, I'm dropping it here for now. Let's hear from you. Hit the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.